Hello, hello, hello. It's Knits for Sanity and welcome to my channel. If this is your first time here, you would not know this, but this is a very different setting than what you are all used to. Uh, you're right. This is not my desk. This is not my white desk. This is not my black desk. I'm on my bed. <laughs> And that is because today I have an unboxing for you that is rather large and I wanted to be sure to be able to include everything in camera range. So I thought probably the best place to do this is actually going to be on my bed. So that is why this is a different view for you today. While you're here, if you wouldn't mind liking this video and consider subscribing to my channel if you like the content. All right, so what are these two boxes, you may be wondering. The answer is this is a large carrot art, carrot dot art order. And I have spoken about carrot art before and they are a somewhat newer diamond painting company. They are out of Germany. My current whip is actually a painting from Carrot Art, and I am thoroughly enjoying it. It is a very high quality cat. It is very well put together, and thus far the image is coming together just spectacularly well. Um, but I've been talking about how, you know, the overseas shipping cost is pretty expensive and I had contacted the company and I was able to get a 10% discount code for anyone to use. It is not a commission. I don't make any money if you use the discount code at all. So there is no pressure any way for you to use it or not, but it is a 10% savings. And with the company, if you spend 199 or 200 euros, I can't remember exactly, but it works out to just over $200 in American currency. Shipping is free. So this is an order that I placed using my discount code, which is Knits for Sanity 10, and it's linked in my notes below. It's using my discount code totaling a little over $200. I don't remember the exact amount. I think it was right around $225 to $230 total. I used my Christmas money and I want to show you everything that I got with this international order. So let's get started. So it did come in two FedEx boxes and I will say shipping was really, really speedy. I ordered both of these, I think two Sundays ago. It was either two Saturdays or two Sundays ago. And by Monday or Tuesday of the following week, I had a notice saying that my shipment was delayed, which I thought, well, okay, how can, how can it be delayed already? Um, but they were saying it was delayed from the anticipated arrival date of Friday that same week to Monday of this week or yesterday. And I was shocked, like, really? <laughs> This whole order from Germany is going to take just over a week to get to me. That is incredible, especially for something that I didn't pay for the shipping. I bought enough that I got the free shipping. So it did come super duper fast. All right. And I don't remember for sure how many items I ended up buying. I want to say it was around seven. All right, so the first box, I have two diamond paintings in here, plus um, a super duper cute little sticker set. And I think I'm not going to do like real thorough unboxings of these items just because there are a lot of things for me to unbox. But here is a really cute sticker set. It's two sheets of the same like woodland animal stickers here. Squirrel, our owl, um, looks like a black squirrel, a deer, rabbit, fox, snail, raccoon, hedgehog, and sun and cloud. Really, really cute. And these do come, look at this. This does come as a full set. This is really nice. So for two different kids, you can get them a full 
Diamond Art Cat. So these are identical. Yes, no, maybe not. Well, I don't think, but maybe they are. Let's open it up, guys. We're gonna we're gonna look a minute. Because I'm looking at this more closely going, actually, this looks like. That looks like about all the colors you'd need, doesn't it? So let's open up this other one. That would be so cool if this were two, this, yeah, you know what? This is, it's two full, check it out. It is, this is two full sets. That is so cool. So if you have two children that want to be able to do this, that is completely feasible. They each can have their own, I'm not going to try and put this back together right now, um, but they each have their own full set, including their own tray, wax, drill pen, their own set of drills, and then their own sticker sheet. That is really awesome. Okay, so this is item number one. This is the smallest thing that I got. You know, I do have um, a pretty young son yet, and he enjoys diamond painting, but he does not have the attention for something too large. I mean, it's taken him months to complete one card. <laughs> so a sticker, a single sticker, is probably about as much as he can handle right now. And actually, my youngest daughter is pretty similar. She is a genius, but her attention span is not very long. All right, and then these are the two paintings that I got. Oh, good. So this is um, a dual set painting that I got. Again, thinking for young people and actually thinking that this might be a really great birthday gift for of the friend of one of my daughters. So I don't know that I'm going to actually unbox this one because this one I am thinking I want to gift to a child at some point. But it is two mini paintings and they are 27 by 18 centimeters. And just really cute with the donut with the bite taken out of it and this cupcake. They are simple paintings to do. I believe they are both round drill and they might actually come on like the same the same sheet and then you can just cut them in two if you want um yeah and I will link obviously all of this information below and you can check it out for yourself but just two super cute little paintings perfect for your absolute beginner someone who is afraid of time commitment <laughs> or for younger diamond painters. So this one I'm going to leave as is, like I said, just because this one I am intending to actually gift to a friend of a child of mine. All right, but now this one, all right, so now this is one of the paintings, you know, for me, I guess. This is so cute, isn't it? This one I am going to open up and we will take a brief minute and look at the canvas together. The problem with carrot art for me is there are so many paintings I want that by the time I tend to shop by just putting everything that looks good in my cart and then I can weed through it later. And so by the time I put everything that I were, that I considered like my absolute favorites into my cart, I was at, I mean, it was like six or seven hundred dollars. <laughs> And that's when I realized clearly I have a problem and I really like what this company is offering and they're artists. <laughs> and again, this is all licensed artwork and they have started working directly with artists, including this artist right here that I'm about to show you. Carrot Arts canvases are, they're thick, they're heavy canvases. They are all poured glue, and because it is poured glue, you can wrap it, roll it backward to help it lay flat. Now, this particular canvas that I got, because this is a newer company, they are undergoing 
changes more rapidly than established companies often would. And so this canvas is actually a like a slightly earlier version of what Carrot Art has. And how do I know that? A couple of things. The first one is this canvas is, it is a hard canvas. It's not soft. That does not matter at all. That really, it's just like a sensory appealing thing really to have a softer canvas um, because this quality is phenomenal. It is nice and thick. Your edges are still very well guarded from fraying. The canvas itself, I'm going to blow you up a little bit here. Well, no, quite a bit actually, just to see if we can look at some of these symbols. Um, the symbols aren't going real well. I wonder if I blow you up not quite as much. Being that I'm in the bedroom, I have a completely different lighting setup in here. So it is definitely a little bit harder for you to see these symbols, but they are very clear. This is a round drill kit. And if you can see, they do have little guides. And then I think, I'm hoping you can also see that it is a glitter poured glue canvas which for a round drill kit such as this one that is actually a really nice added touch and that's just because you can see you know you can see the guides for the round drills and then the stuff that's left over in the square is what you will see coming through from behind those drills and so if you add some sparkle to that that just helps, I think, add an extra cohesiveness and an extra element of sparkle to the whole thing because your drills are meant to sparkle. And so by having that glitter glue poured canvas, that does help with that. And again, this is one of their older versions of their kits, and yet it is of super high quality. Um, you have legends on both sides of this painting. There are a whopping 60 colors in this relatively small 40 by 40 centimeter kit. That, I mean, that is an unbelievable number of colors for a kit this size. The other way that I know that this is a slightly older version of their kits is their canvas legend comes on a printed sheet of paper and their newer ones, like the painting that I'm currently working on, do come on a sticker sheet. But this still, I mean, this gives you everything that you need. I will say one thing that is not necessarily a problem, but they don't list the number of colors on here. Not that you need that information, really. Um, I certainly don't ever use that. Um, but there are 60 colors, and we know that because I do list it down here on the legends that are located on the canvas. Um, 60 total colors. They list their A, Bs at the end of the list. So you have a 310, 444, 666, and a 5200. So 310 and 5200 are your standard white and black a b drills um and then your 666 is a bright red and your 444 is a bright yellow drill and the drills all come in a little baggy already so this kit is essentially already kitted up for you if you wanted you could start working directly from the bags you do have a small very standard toolkit in here the newer canvases don't automatically come with a toolkit, which I do appreciate because I don't need any more toolkits. I have plenty of things that I can use, but you do have a standard white tray. You have some blue wax, um, a couple of different multi-placers, your drill pen, a little foam grippy for comfort, and then a pair of tweezers, all of their older kits do come with tweezers regardless if they are round or square drills and again these are relatively sharp tweezers so i always recommend keeping the lid with them all right and like i said because this is a rather large unboxing i am not going to go through all of these drills individually i um you know i pointed out some of the highlights for your a b drills this is you know a gorgeous picture of this canvas your artist, I believe, is Digimon. Yes, your artist is Digimon. 
and it's the girl with the bird is a rough translation and that's using that's using my German major to provide a rough translation of the title of this painting <laughs> um but I just I loved this image so let's roll this one back up and then let's open up our other box so let's pull these all out oh this box was a perfect fit for these paintings I love that no waste whatsoever all right so here we go <laughs> let the pleasure begin totally right so these these are four more paintings I'm gonna take a little sip here a second of my my uh, LaCroix here and if you know me you know that LaCroix is kind of my beverage of choice <laughs> all right so what are these four paintings? Again, I'm not going to do a real thorough unboxing of each of them, but I am going to um, quickly go through and I'll open each one because these are intended to be for me. So the first one is this lovely lady right here. I loved her and I actually thought she would be fantastic for DP for Black History Month. So I'm actually thinking about kidding her up to begin tomorrow as opposed to the other unboxing that I did for that event. <laughs> um, just she's different and I think she's so cute. So we'll see. Um, in a previous order that I had from them, not every box came in cellophane. And it was okay because then the kit on the inside was wrapped in plastic. So I think their older kits are coming wrapped in a box like this, which means that tool kits are included automatically because the whole box is sealed. Okay, um, So maybe these are actually all slightly older kits that I got. Like I said, I can't really remember what I'd settled on, but that would be my guess is that actually these are all slightly older kits versus the painting I'm working on right now did not come with a toolkit. At least I'm, I don't think it came with a toolkit. The box was not wrapped in plastic, but my canvas was, and it came with a sticker sheet. So that is, those are your main differences. Now you can opt for a toolkit, but again, I just, I don't need any more toolkits. So I like when those are optional. All right, we're going to roll this one backward again, because this is a poured glue canvas. I can do that. Oh. Look at how cute this is. Oh my goodness. She is darling. I considered getting this one in rounds. A lot of their paintings, you can choose round or square. And I considered getting round for this. But then I saw this cute little snail. And I suddenly got a little bit worried that with a round drill and a painting that's still only 50 by 50, this snail might not look quite as good as what it hopefully will with square drills. So that is why I did choose square drills for this one. But this particular kit, I do know for sure came in round drills as well. So again, this canvas is just like the last one. It is a, um, it's not soft but that's fine. It is a super heavy canvas. Same uh, scalloped edging with the perforated, the little pin dots to prevent fraying. Um, still, you have your legends on both sides here. This painting has 41 colors in it. And let's see, this is another one by Digimom. Same artist as my last painting. And this painting is called approximately <laughs> Child with Blooming Hair. That, again, is a very rough translation using my German major that I received, well, a long time ago. All right. 
but same paper printout, which is just fine. For me, this works just fine. What I do is I run these through my sticker maker and I slap them in my diamond painting journal. Um, there are a total of three ABs on here, a 5200, which is your white, a 701 AB, and then that same 666 AB, which is your bright red, which I'm assuming is going to be found in, oh yes it is, E, and these flowers, just sparingly, just a little bit for that little punch in the flowers. Really, really cute. And then that green, I'm thinking probably is also going to be in her hair too, and it is. It is in her hair. This is so beautiful. And I think, I can't wait to see how her eyes come out. I hope the rendering, excuse me, I hope the rendering is as great as what I think it will be. It was just, it was her eyes and then this cute little snail that just really got me. And I thought, I have to get this painting. And now I think I might do this one for DP for Black History Month. <laughs> All right, so this is painting number one. Um, again, drills, they're all pre-packaged. This is your SKU or item number here. So, and it is printed on your canvas as well. It's up in the corner here. Here, I can maybe bring that in to show you. Um, so if your drills are ever separated from your canvas, you can still figure out how to put them together. Additionally, the symbols are just as clear as the last canvas. It is still a glitter glue. Um, yep, still a little bit of a glitter glue pour on here. So, I mean, just, again, the quality is absolutely amazing. Just amazing. All right, so that is painting, full painting number two, or item number three. Moving right along. Oh, this one you may have seen before. A couple of people did this painting for um, Festival of Witches this past October. So this one you maybe have seen before. Also, this title actually comes to us in English. Look at that little witch and her cat. It is a 50 by 50. It is so cute. Um, this one I know for a fact I also got in square drills because um, the round drills, it's hard to know without having like an actual rendering in front of me. But the round drills, I didn't like her nose as much in the round drills. So that's why I got square for this one too. But you know, that's a personal preference thing. And like I said, for all I know, her nose still would have looked just fine in the round drills. It's hard, like you can't really know without having the rendering right in front of you. So but that was my reasoning for why I did square with this one. All right. And again, this box came already wrapped up. So I'm assuming this is another, maybe it's not. Hmm. Surprise, surprise. This kit has come packaged in plastic. And this appears softer. Let's take this out. You do have your item number front here. Let's see, what is this canvas like? Yeah, this is a different canvas. So I'm also thinking no toolkit in this one. Yes, all right, perfect. So I'm so excited. I did have at least one that was a newer version of their kits. Um, how do I know that? The first thing that made me kind of guess was because it was wrapped in plastic. The canvas, at least. Um, but then also there's no toolkit in here, which is great. I do not need a toolkit. They do, however, include some branded washi tape for you. And if you are new to diamond painting and are wondering what this washi tape craze is all about, people like to put washi tape for sure around the edge of their canvas where you will have a little bit of glue spill over. Although the canvas that I am currently working on and this one, huh, there is almost no glue spill over at all. And I was worried that then like the last row wouldn't be well glued, wouldn't be very adhesive. And that does not appear to be the case. It just appears to be like, really perfect manufacturing. <laughs> um, 
you know, coming from Germany, I guess one could kind of say that you would expect nothing less, right? German engineering, even in their diamond paintings. Um, so you do get washi tape with this, but no other toolkit. Like I said, you can request to have a toolkit added. Plus the painting comes with now a sticker sheet, a very large sticker that has all your basic information on here. This is another 50 by 50. Your artist is Ophelia Honey. Um, just so cute. There are 59 colors in here. And again, ABs are listed at the end. And check out all of these ABs, guys. What is this? Eight? Eight ABs. Huh, that is amazing. That is so many AB colors. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Yes, my math is correct. <laughs> 52 to 59 is eight colors. That is amazing. Wow. Um, but look how cute and adorable this is. So yes, with the round drill, there was just something about her nose that when I was looking at their examples of renderings, what these kind of look like when they're completed, I didn't care for it. And so I'm kind of hoping the square is a little bit better. Super duper cute. This canvas is soft on the backside which is another way that I knew that this was a new version. This canvas is softer on the backside. Otherwise, the canvas itself is pretty much the same. You do have a little bit more branding information. You do have more information on the bottom corner of this canvas, including another picture rendering. Um, and we get an English translation, which the other kids don't have. So that is really cool. Um, and I think I have to assume this is based on the fact that when I go to the website, you can select whether you want to have the page show up in German or in English. And my German is not that good, um, <laughs> as you have now gathered. Um, and so I select English. And I would assume that based on how you check out, because I check out in English, I am sent this cat. Um, I could be wrong. And it could just be that they have just switched over to English completely to make this more universal. I don't know. Um but I love this so, so much. And again, I'm not going to go through all of these drills with you. But here are your squares. Here we can see all of those glitter, your AB drills right here in the blues. Those are so pretty. And AB is for Aurora Borealis. And as you can see right here through the packaging, it's just a special coating that's put on those drills to make them sparkle more. And it adds a really nice cohesiveness to the painting. Um, and they are still all individually bagged up. So essentially, this kit is kitted up and ready to go. You just need to provide your own toolkit with this version. Or, like I said, you could request to have a toolkit added to this. Um, I don't need any more toolkits. All right, so we're gonna roll this one up. All right, two more paintings left. And I know I feel like this is taking forever and I'm not even doing a really good unboxing. Oh, I loved this one. Oh, this was something like, uh, something to do with the 90s, girl in the 90s, or I don't remember, but I loved it. Uh, I totally saw me as a child <laughs> in this painting. So let's open this one up. And this, I love this artist. This is the same artist that is, um, did the girl with the froggy, which is my current whip. Francisca, I can't pronounce her last name. So I saw this one and I just, I loved it. And um, this one I had to get. <laughs> I think this one only came in round drills. I don't think I had a choice with this one. And I can't remember if that's because that was just the only way it came or if square was sold out. But there were only round drills for this. All right, again, this is an older canvas. How do I know? Um, because this is slightly rougher. And there's a toolkit in here. Here you have your sheet. Looks like there are just under 60 colors in here based on my first kit that I opened because three full lines was 60 colors. 
So one, two, three, four, five. We're going to guess there's like 55 colors in here. Shall we find out? <laughs> and again, look at all these ABs, guys. Six ABs in here. This is a 50 by 50 painting. This one is in English to the beat of the 90s. And there's a very good chance that come to think of it it's in English because um perhaps the artist titled it in English I don't know why I didn't think of that sooner but the beat of the 90s is what this is called check out that image oh here with her little tape deck her Walkman and here she's spinning you remember you know to <laughs> get the tape back into your cassette tape you'd stick a pencil in there and wind it up so cool. And I loved the colors in this one. I thought they were so happy. 55 colors. Yep, there are 55 colors. There you go. You can see this is an AB up here, Aurora Borealis Drill. All of them are already in little baggies for you. Here is your item number, which is also present on this canvas. We're going to roll this canvas backwards so we can look at it a little bit better. Now, I don't recall, and I'm going to probably feel like an idiot when I go back and edit this video, um, but this one I noticed does have a bit more branding on the bottom here. And I don't recall this being on my first two canvases that I opened up. Was it there? Am I just really that slow? Like I said, I'm going to feel like an idiot, <laughs> I think, when I rewatch to edit this video but I don't recall there being this information on the bottom of those first two Digimom paintings that I opened up um but again similar story you have a couple of different legends on here and the canvas itself is fantastic it is not a soft canvas but all of the same careful consideration to prevent fraying on the edges um and I feel like I almost do better going just holding my painting up like this for you to check out the symbols. Clear symbols. Oh, I think this one's going to be so much fun to do. I don't normally select paintings with a lot of pinks. I'm not a pink person. <laughs> I tend to be more neutral tones. Or if I do go so-called bright, it's usually things like greens and blues. But this, I just loved this painting. I thought it was so sweet. Oh, I cannot wait to do, I can't wait to do all of them. I just need like 50 million years to be able to do all of these. All right, so this is the beat of the 90s. And that artist, I'm just going to show you her name. It's Francisca. And I can't pronounce her last name. And I'm going to stop trying because I always get it wrong. And I always feel terrible. All right. So we're going to wrap this one up. All right. So this last one. Oh, yeah, that's right. Flower Girl. Same artist. This is Francisca again. Oh, and I'm pretty sure I got this one in round drills, too. And this one, I can't remember. This one, there may have been an option to get square. And I opted for round, but I don't recall. And my guess is this is probably a slightly, oh, no. Looks like this might be a newer canvas. One of their newer models again, because it's wrapped in plastic. Item number out here. only be a 40 by 40. It is. It's only a 40 by 40. It's so cute and little. Oh, awesome, awesome, awesome. It is. This is one of their newer canvases again. So we get some washi tape in here. No toolkit is provided, but you can request to have a toolkit added. Um, and I do think they charge you a few dollars for it, which I think is reasonable. I find that their kits are not unreasonably priced at all. Flower Girl, and again by Francisca. Super cute. Look at all those bright, fun flowers. This is a 40 by 40. There's your item number. 
and still for being a 40 by 40 56 colors in here plus wow look at all those ab's again oh look at this we have one two three four five six seven eight nine nine a b's and just a 40 by 40 canvas but i look at this image and i say yeah i can see why you'd put in all those a b's that's going to really help bring out the light effect of this painting and again your drills are already in little baggies here is your 5200 AB drill right here, Aurora Borealis, just that extra special coating that is put. Here's some more, the coating that's put on these drills to help them sparkle a little bit more and help bring some cohesiveness and add an extra light dimension to your painting. It just kind of shifts your focus to the most important parts of the painting, I think. And then this canvas, because it is a newer canvas, it is soft on the back. I always find it kind of hard to roll these smaller canvases. All right. Oh, look at how cute. Oh, she's so cute. All right, so again, you have your legends on both sides. You do have a couple of small picture renderings on here. Um, I will hold this up again so you can see. This is what the symbols look like. Now, there is one rather significant difference between this canvas for round drills and the first two that I opened. So the first two canvases that I opened that were older cats, one of their more original versions of cats, each, each round drill had a guide. So here, let's see if I can hold you still enough. So like you see here, you see like the number fours, they all have kind of a circle around the number. All right, well then let's look at the lighter colors like those squares, there is no guide around those squares. And that is really nice for the light colors because otherwise what happens is, especially when you have white on the background, you can never place these drills completely accurately. Um, just, you know, minor differences in sizes of the drills, um, human error i mean you will never place round drills completely on top of the guide it's just never going to happen and what happens especially on these light colors is then you see some of that guideline come through from the back of the canvas and it's i mean no one else is probably going to notice it and especially not from a distance but as the one who put this kit together you'll notice it and it bothers me and again you do have that glitter glue in the poured canvas so that the canvas itself sparkles and it just it's that extra special touch that just makes your completed painting look just that much nicer all right guys um thank you so much for joining me this really is at it's a long unboxing but we got through seven products and again that is seven products for um, about $230 total US. And that was using my discount code of Knits for Sanity 10 plus the free shipping at just over $200 US, you do get free shipping. And I feel like for spending my Christmas money, I could not have gotten any more or done any better. I am absolutely thrilled. I love these paintings. And yeah, I'm kind of thinking I might do a different one for dp for black history month i guess come back and find out with my next whip and chat all right guys like i always say please practice kindness you never know what someone is going through so just just be kind it's just easier in the long run and better and in return i hope that you are shown the same level of kindness i hope you are having a wonderful day and i will see you again real soon